Hello, today we're going to have a look at how to disable Superfetch and Prefetch in Windows 10 and 8.1. Okay, basically this is a service that, shall we say, loads up files in advance of us actually accessing them. So basically, if we were going to load up a program in a few seconds, based on our history and our behavior patterns, Windows kind of like stores the data for that program, etc. in advance. Okay. However, it does increase the read times and read access, write access to disk. For example, if you have a solid state disk, okay, the extra reads and writes to it actually wears down your lifespan. Also, in certain cases, it could actually slow your computer down. However, it is quite an efficient system and it does actually work. But in certain instances, we need to disable it. How do we do it? We need to go to services. How do we get there? Basically, quite simple. In Windows 10, over here, you just type in services.msc. Okay, it comes up with the service over here. Sometimes before the MSC, it automatically shows up, like over there. Okay. And there we go. Give it permission. And it brings up our window that we had before. And we scroll down and we find our super fetch. Okay, what we would want to do is basically disable it. Okay, stop it from running currently. Okay, once that's done, we also need to go into the registry and set it up there. So we type in reg edit. Okay, we found our reg edit. And now we need to go to Whoops. And close that one down. H key. Let's H key local machine. Then it's system. Then it is current control set. Then it is control. And it's session manager. Let's just make that a little bit bigger. Okay, then it's session manager. And then it's memory management. Okay, then prefetch parameters. Okay, enable superfetch and enable prefetch. Okay. Three is basically giving it the enabled option. Okay, one is disabling it. So, sorry, zero is disabling it. One enables prefetch for applications only. Two enables prefetch for boot files only. And three prefetch for boot and application files. In this case, we want to disable, so it's zero. Okay, and we can type in as a hex or a decimal, zero is the same for both of them. Okay, go to zero again. Okay, and then that's done. And basically, the next time you restart your computer, you will not have your prefetch or superfetch running. And this is actually going to show initially when you boot up you might see actually things taking a little bit longer okay and it's gonna constantly remain at that stage however it's only going to be accessing files and folders and all data on a, on a need to know kind of basis almost okay hope this has helped thank you for watching